What's going on everybody? My name is DRock and uh, today we're going to go over how to make a big pad chord sound. Um, if you watched my uh, my tutorial on, on doing um, flume slander chord wobbles, then um, uh, we'll, 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 we'll be making a sound very similar to the one in that. Um, yeah, let's dive right into it. Uh, the main thing for this will be a Thor. Let's combine it because being organized is a good thing. Uh, let's see, the main sounds for this is, are going to be two multi-oscillators. Have both those run through. One is going to be on sawtooth, the other one's going to be on square. Let's open up the uh, filter and turn the sustain all the way up. Sweet, let's turn this down. Uh, on the... On on a on a, these oscillators, you you'll want them spread apart by one octave. Uh, you can either turn the sawtooth one up or turn the square one down. But we want the square one to be an octave lower. Where and for the square multi oscillator, we're going to turn the amount down just a bit. Cool. Next, we're going to create a comb filter down here. Have that run through and activate that to go through as well. Turn down the um, the envelope amount and the velocity amount. So now we're going to get that moving with an LFO. Uh, LFO 1, 2, filter 2, frequency. Uh, keep your amount somewhere around the 50 mark. Uh, go a little bit, 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 bit more, that's fine. Um, Kind of find the sweet spot, usually somewhere about about 12 o'clock sounds pretty good. And uh, I like to have it slowed way down. This will just add a, a, a little bit of extra movement to your sound. Uh, next, we're going to add a low pass filter to the filter three point. Uh, for this, we're going to use this for for a uh, so that we can have it pluck if, if we want to. Uh, so to do that, turn the velocity down. Uh, you'll have to use the global envelope since that's where that one links to. Sustain release down and then turn the decay down. I think 316 I think sounds pretty good. Turn the envelope amount up a little bit. Hit, and uh, if you want to, you can add a bit of resonance as well. Something like 20. That works for me. Cool. Next is going to be a, an EQ. Okay, we're just going to do this just to chop out any extreme lows, any of that junk that we don't want sneaking in there, causing extra muddiness. Something like that works. Cool. So for now, we can close this up. And now we're gonna do, do, do duplicate these. So if you have them both selected, to hold Alt and Shift, drag them down. Now we've got copies. Okay, so as you see, uh, right now we still only have the um, the uh, first synth, synth uh, going through. So now we're gonna have to merge them together. Uh, I like to use a uh, line mixer. And the way that I keep things organized is when, when, when I'm going to do something like this is I typically have everything in the line mixer go back up to the, to, to the top and then we'll work above the line mixer from there. So let's uh, have the first synth go to channel 1 and second synth to channel 2. Make sure you remember to put that back through otherwise you're not going to get any sound. And you'll probably want to turn this down a little bit as well. Now let's pan them out left and right. We should get a nice amount of width out of this with the sound. Ah, uh, nice and wide, yes. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Next. Um, let's get this thing plucking now. So let's open up the programmer. On the first Thor, go to uh, rotary 1, filter 3, frequency. See, so we can solo this one out. That way you can hear what's happening. Now you don't want to you're you don't want the filter to go all the way down because you get that kind of weird goofy sound. It sounds kind of added like kind of out of tune. Uh, somewhere around 30, 30 uh, for the um, for the um, um, minimum works pretty well. 
I like, I like that sound, yeah. And then we'll do the same thing for the other Thor. So rotary one to filter, trace, frequency, and have that at 30. Cool. So now, uh, now we're gonna work above this this uh this uh this uh line mixer. We're gonna start with an EQ. EQ. Make sure when you create this, you hold Shift. Otherwise, it's gonna auto route to the auxiliary effect. Turn this around. Uh, output going to output of the of the line mixer going to the input and out going in. Sweet. I I actually don't even even really do anything with this. I just have that in there just in case I want to I want to like not something out or maybe boost some highs something like that. Uh, next will be a compressor. The compressor is going to be used more for the pluck part. That way we can shape the pluck a little bit to have it punch a little bit, bit more. Uh, you can boost the input gain a little bit, drop the threshold a bit, uh, boost up the ratio, drop the release all the way down. You can find the sweet spot for the for the um, for the um, attack time somewhere around here. Sixty three milliseconds works for me. Cool. Next, uh, we'll do a uh, a unison. So this um, it's not really going to do much. It's, it's just going to add a tiny bit of extra width. So have the wet dry amount at about uh, nine o'clock. Then bump up the the um, the um, detune amount. 60, so you can hear it doesn't do a ton, but there's just a tiny a tiny little little, little bit to 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 kind of soften it a little bit. Uh, next, we'll do a reverb to kind of finish it off. Off, uh, I like pleat reverbs because I just like the way they sound. That down, drop the damp down a little bit. Let me drop the IEQ and actually bring the damp back up a little bit. And uh, we can um, high pass it if your if your heart desires that. Just so no extra low end junk sneaks in from the reverb. Um, and that's pretty much it for this. Um, one thing I, I that I that I did. Uh, I guess this will be more of a little trick here at at the uh, end. Um, is uh, a lot of the plucks will have some sort of um, an, have some sort of an echo afterwards. Um, so you can hear it's a pretty classic sound and you, that that um that 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 um you'll hear in a lot of music but when it's but when the filters all the way opened up we're not gonna really want that pluck sound in there um you could automate like the actual trigger individually but uh that's extra lines of um of um of um automation so uh, what I figured out about 20 minutes ago, actually, was uh, if we go to Rotary 1, then, then the Master Dry Wet Balance. If you have the maximum at 0%, and then the minimum at um, whatever wet dry amount you want. It kind of comes in and out depending on what, on um, on how much of, of a pluck you're getting, and you could probably make some 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 sort of use out of that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. If you have any uh, requests, questions, um, or comments, concerns, anything like that, drop a comment uh, or uh, shoot me a message. And uh, yeah, till next time, I'll see you guys later.